Okay, I'm putting the corn in. This should have been in months ago. I should be harvesting corn now, but no. The summer corn is coming up, as you can see, and it just burst through the ground. There was no corn yesterday, and today, you see this one's even unfurling its leaves. There's other corn right next to it. I have some corn seed that I haven't planted out so that if I don't get enough corn in this area, I see the dotting of the corn. So one month later, you see those rocks? I now have three sisters in there. Yeah, there's the corn. There's the watermelon. I'm just reaching down here to show you a little bit better. These are the corn. These are the watermelon. I have some okra dotted in there. My corn's got a little size on it and the nemesis of corn at this time of the year in Southern California's drought. So I am going to heal it up. Not because I'm concerned about wind, because I'm not, but just to put an extra layer of um, soil around it. I don't have any soil to dig up from next door. I'm not on a farm. Like I see a lot of gardeners on YouTube that are on farms. I have to buy my dirt. <laughs> and I'm sitting here, standing here in my little corn patch. In my mind, there's always space for corn. It is not quite July, but I will have you see there, we are thigh high by July. Yes, I've got on a little mini gardening dress and I just wanted to go on record. That is my thigh and that is my corn. So I figure even if they were talking about knee high for a big old tall man, this corn has made that first goal. So I was looking at my corn. It's not quite July, we're getting close, but there is the flower. So it's gonna really, I figure it's gonna really shoot up because it's about three foot tall. And my corn from last year was at least um, twice that height. So, but it doesn't matter to me either way. It's pretty good. The others haven't got a corn flower on them yet. You can see those ears of corn are starting to set. It's looking pretty nice there. Nice, nice, nice. Very happy with this corn. On this ear of corn, the corn sits have started to shrivel up. Can you see that? They are shriveled up. They're not juicy. They are definitely shriveled. There is some at the top that looks like they still need to be pollinated. And you go back here and there's more corn silks. Those have turned brown. All right, we showed the plants before I watered and I hadn't watered in a couple of days. And I'm hoping you can see that the plant leaves are more refreshed now. See my grasshopper hanging on to the corn? He is huge. I've seen a few, but this one is absolutely huge. Corn's not just doing good. As you can see, there's corn everywhere, and um, I don't know when to pick it. My corn are really, really short. So, um, I'm looking at the silks and you see that silk is white. I thought it was pollinated, but now I'm seeing those white silk and it doesn't feel filled out, but these corn are definitely short. See them on here. That's the size of them, but there's lots of them. So I'm happy. Tons of corn. Some of them even have like two ears on the same corn. Oh, this corn here is, this corn here is long. So I guess it just depends. I grew this corn really packed out. So we'll see what we get. My corn is putting on second ears. You see that? There's the first ear. And here is the second ear starting. How about that? Very, very generous. Lots of corn. Lots of corn. Let me make sure you can see. No, you can't see the corn. I'm, I'm looking at it, but what in my photo, there's corn. 
There's <laughs> tons of corn in here. See that? All that corn? Corn, corn, corn. Because this plant's putting on second ears. So, corn everywhere. <laughs> it's so much corn. I'm so happy with the corn. Look at that. Look at all that corn. They're not the biggest ears, but um, it's corn and I'm in the city. Yeah, I can feed myself. I can make some cornbread. We'll see what kind of corn it is. The kind I like, it's productive. Right. I'm gonna braid. I can see the kernels on that one, so I'm gonna braid that that is ready to harvest. Look at that, yeah. Looks like there's not much on there at the top, but there's kernels at the bottom, I think. Okay, so there are the kernels that I got on that one. So I'm gonna harvest it. Just twist her off there. And let's see what we got on this one. I was a little bit worried, but I can see we did pretty good there. The shoe pegged on, but this part here um, didn't get fertilized in time to go. And we can't wait for that, but we're having corn. Let me go put the hot okay, I think I have another one here. I can see the kernels through the container here. And um, I wouldn't have thought this one was ready, but I'm going to take it anyway. I can see some kernels in there, so if I can see kernels, I think I'm good. Okay. I think I found another one. Look at these brown silks here. Just really, really brown silks. That's got to be ready. I don't grow sweet corn. This is field corn, so it's very forgiving. I'm curious about my second ear of corn here. curious about the second air corn here it's looking pretty good so far looking pretty good okay yeah I probably could have left that on there yeah I could have left that on there a little bit longer because see these were pollinated and they would have gotten um, done yeah so those were growing out so I picked this one a little bit too early but I'm sure there's some corn on here yeah so I got some corn there and we're gonna eat it okay so what I've learned I think is that this corn when it's ready you can see the corn through you see how you can see those kernels I know this one is ready because I can see the kernels through it so they've gotten filled up yeah so that's what you want now those top corn there didn't get fertilized so I don't have to worry about them but you see these kernels are good and ready Okay, so I got the water boiling. As I mentioned, this is um, not sweet corn. This is old-fashioned corn. So um, it's got that old-fashioned corn flavor. And this is going to be lunch. Now, five minutes of boiling. And you can see that the corn has a little bit of a yellow color to it. This is the one that was ready. As you can see, it's fully filled in all the way to the top. These ones weren't ready. These kernels were going to fill in like the other one, but I needed more than one piece of corn. And then this is the baby one that I thought was ready. And as you can see, it's even green. But the corn that's ready is ready, and I'm gonna eat it. Five minutes.
grace is going to be on a few minutes. You're probably going to watch it because there's a lot of stuff talking to you. <laughs> Mom, I'm bringing you some corn. I picked it a little early, but you know, I got many more corn I can track. I was. I'm not going to look at this for a long time. I have, I have one other one downstairs that I'm going to eat. You want some butter? I'm going to eat it just like this. It's so tasty. I don't know. You know. Now, mm. it's good. It's got a lot of corn flavor to it. What's this filled corn for you can see? It's more calorie dense. Well, I'll let you go and um, boil your own summer corn. That's what August is for. I just have to mention mm, the rich corn flavor in this. It's not sweet corn, but it has such good flavor in it. Mm. Hopefully I have enough to make some cornmeal. 